So number one is just to remind you that not everything is one gram per milliliter. Iodine has a density of 4.96. So before you plug it into the mass part, you need to convert it, okay? Um, remember when to add them together and when not to add them together. You add them together when the combination causes the heat. So dissolving, like when we dissolve your sodium hydroxide pellets, it caused the heat, so we added, well, we would add it together. A reaction, 50 plus 50, we add it together. But if it's just like a hot piece of metal that's going into water, that's not a reaction. It's just a transfer of red to blue makes purple. We do not add it together for that one. Um, remember for formation, two rules. We have to form one mole of the product and everything has to be elemental. So that means diatomics need to be diatomics. Things that aren't diatomics don't um, show up as diatomics. Just remember that. We haven't just done that for a really long time, so I want to remind you. Um, the best way to prepare for the test is that test review I gave you. Also look over your math and vocab sheet that we did. Remember, this test is twice as long. Not in like questions, but in words. So you need to know what you're doing in order to finish. You will not get extra time. I'm not here tomorrow. I'm at the blood drive. That lady that walked in before will be in here. She's a former physics teacher, um, which this is a physics unit. So I guess you could ask her if you wanted to ask her for clarification on something. I just literally met her when you saw her walk in. So um, the test is long. It's just a lot of reading, so you need to be like ready to go knowing what you're doing. Uh, also, today we'll finish our one last sample problem. For your gas worksheet, you can do 1 through 19. We will not come back to gases until Monday, so today is Thursday. That gives you like four days to do those. Um, and I gave you the lab. We'll do the lab on Wednesday. There's a video for it, so Tuesday, watch the video. Super simple. You're just taking a lighter and getting the gas out of it. So not complicated at all. Three trials like always. Okay. Let's get out your sample prompts and do that last sample problem that we didn't get to yesterday. It's this one. A sample of solid potassium chlorate was heated in a test tube and decomposed according to the following reaction that I did not balance correctly. There should be two here. Sorry. And I'm going to highlight something. The oxygen produced was collected by displacement of water. Those are like key words that we're looking for. When we see that, that means that we have a mixture of gases. That means that we did the experiment underwater, that's water, and some of those water molecules evaporated. And this is our experiment, it created bubbles, and so now we have water gas, it's called vapor, and we have the oxygen gas from the experiment, okay? So when you see displacement of water, you're going to have to do some partial pressure stuff because we have a mixture. Uh, at a total pressure of 754 torr, remember yesterday we learned that sometimes they say this is atmospheric pressure. They didn't this time, but I'm just reminding you. The volume was 0.65 and the vapor pressure of water. That means the pressure of just those blue guys bonking into the wall. It's 21 toward. That's always going to be given to you. Calculate the partial pressure of oxygen and the mass of the potassium chloride. So the first thing we're always going to do is this equation here. We have a mixture of gases. We have water just because we did the experiment underwater and we have the oxygen that was produced in the bubble. Okay? It gave us this total at 754, and it gave us the water at 21 torr. I'm just not converting it yet. You can convert them and then and subtract them if you wanted to. I'm going to convert it afterwards. 
Okay, so push your buttons, subtract it, and convert it to ATMs. It's a divide by 760 situation. What I just did was ignored the water. I'm removing the water from the situation because that's not in my balanced equation. Okay. So what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to go from the oxygen bubbles back to the potassium chlorate, which is stoichiometry, which means I need to be in moles. I need to be in moles so I can do my mole ratio and then do my molar mass. Uh, the only way I can get to moles is my PV equals NRT. Okay, then I can do my mole ratio and my molar mass like we usually do. So my pressure I just found, 0.964. My volume, I think, was 0.65. Moles I'm solving for are 0 0.08206. And I have no idea what my temperature was. Plus 278, 295. Okay, find your moles and then do your stoichiometry to get back to grams. 